Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn, containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Yes, you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... Oh, Connor. Ah, Connor, what a relief. You came. <laughs> Allow me to... <laughs> to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must... Help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. I fear not, but you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I. He does not like the Charles touched. River and rouse the boy. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. Two if by sea, one if by land. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. They've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Lovely. Ah, you take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse. Right place. Yeah, I know I do, bro. Let everyone know that the regulars march for Lexington and Concord. The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend. We have more people to warn. This is it. You have got the right place. Did you hear that? Could be redcoats. Careful. Spread the word. The regulars are coming out.
This is it. You have got the right place. The regulars are coming. Here. We're here. Get them! Find a way to get rid of them, Connor. We need to lose them. We need to lose them. Find a way to get rid of them, Connor. Gotta shake those red coats. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. I believe we are on course. This is it. You have got the right place. Oh, so now you're not. Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh... put on some trousers. At once. Oh, Connor. Good to see you. Likewise. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice, then, but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor? It's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. Can do, Buckaroo. I'm gonna kill some red coats. Is this the shot heard around the world? But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! <coughs> Pitcairn. Disperse, you damn rebels. Lay down your arms and disperse. What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position! Cravens! Traitors! They are not coming back, so we'll have to make do with those who remain. Don't you let your meteor now. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. <coughs> Go on now! Coast are taking captive. No, well, head for the hill.
Here we go. Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. Then why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. The hell? I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captain. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. They're not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Okay. Sir! Man the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. Okay. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Prepare yourself. over the bridge. Open the fire. Hold fire. Shoot. Prepare yourself. Go. for my signal. Fire now! Wait for the signal. Wait for my signal. Fire! Wait for the signal. Fall back! Here we Fall go. Back. Turning tail! Let's go get pit Karen. Takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. Damn right, bro. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. Sometimes he seems like a glass half full type of, type of guy. I mean, Connor, you just saved a lot of people, bruh. 